Hi everyone, I'm Krati Singh. I'm a senior solutions architect at AWS. And today I will show you how you can manage user access for your Amazon Q business applications using AWS IAM Identity Center. You can house your user identities within IAM Identity Center, or you can integrate it with a third party IDP like Okta, Microsoft, IntraID, and so on. Uh, with this user access management, you can make sure that only authorized users within your organization have access to your data and content. Uh, but before I go deeper, let me hand over to my colleague for a brief overview of Amazon Q. Thank you, Krati. Hello, everyone. This is Akshar Shah. I'm a senior solutions architect with AWS. Amazon Q falls in the topmost layer of the AWS Azure Data BI stack. This layer consists of a suite of applications that use large language models and other foundation models. Amazon Q is a generative AI powered assistant that helps make your organization data more accessible, write code, you can use it to answer questions, generate content, and manage AWS resources, and even take actions. Amazon Q securely connects to over 40 commonly used business tools like Wikis, Atlassian, Gmail, Salesforce, and many more. Amazon Q is designed to help where you work. So if you are navigating through AWS console, it is available there. If you are a developer who interacts with IDE, CLIs, navigates through docs, it is available there to assist you. Plus it also comes with a web-based interface for every employee, regardless of their technical know-how through Amazon Q Business. Amazon Q Business is one of the services within the Amazon Q Suite. You can use it to answer questions, provide summaries, generate content, and securely complete tasks based on your enterprise systems. On the screen, I'm showing the sample of the web interface that it comes with. Amazon Q Business can be tailored to your business by connecting it to your company's data and systems. This concludes our brief intro to Amazon Q Business. Over to you, Krati. If you're not familiar with AWS IAM Identity Center, it is our recommended service for managing access at scale. In a single place, you can grant access to multiple AWS accounts and applications. The service also integrates with third-party providers like Okta, Ping Identity, and so on. Today in the demo, I will leverage Okta as my IDP. I will sync in identities from Okta into IAM Identity Center. And then I will go on to show how you can uh, assign these users and groups to your Amazon Q business applications. So let's get into the demo. I'm logged into my Okta developer account for demo purpose. And I have already set up a group called AWS users, which has one user account under it called test user. Now let's see how to set up the integration with AWS IAM Identity Center on the Okta side. For that, I will click on Applications, click on Browse App Catalog. In the search box, type AWS IAM Identity Center. Select the application and click on Add Integration. Leave the defaults and click on Done. Now click on the tab Sign On and scroll down to SAML Signing Certificates. Here under Actions, click on View IDP Metadata. Save this file to your local computer as metadata.xml. Now let's go into the AWS console. Here I'm logged into the management account of my organization where I have already enabled IAM Identity Center service. Now let's see how to change the identity source to Okta. For that, I will click on Confirm Identity Source, scroll down and under Actions, click on Change Identity Source, select External Identity Provider and click on Next. On this screen, make a note of ACS URL and issuer URL. 
We will later on use it in the Okta application integration setup. You can easily copy them by clicking on the icons next to them. On the next, set, next step, choose the metadata file that was downloaded from Okta and click Next. Review the impact of this change and confirm by typing in accept and then click on change identity source. Now let's go back to the Okta console and update the ACS and issuer URLs that we just noted down. On the sign on tab, click on edit, scroll down. Under Advanced Sign-On Settings, copy and paste the ACS URL and the issuer URL. And click on Save. Alright, now let's see how to update automatic provisioning setting so that your Okta users and group will automatically sync into IAM Identity Center. For that, let's go back to AWS, click on Settings, click on Management, scroll down, and here you will see a pop-up for enabling automatic provisioning. On this particular pop-up, click Enable, Make a note of the skim endpoint, copy it to a, lo a local text pad file so that you can use it later on. Click on show token and again keep a copy of this token. Now you can close this window and go back to the Okta browser. Here click on the provisioning tab. Click on Configure API Integration and then click on the checkbox Enable API Integration. In the text boxes provided here, add the token value and the skim endpoint that you just copied. Click on Test API Credentials. If you see this error which says that the base URL does not match required pattern, make sure that you remove the forward slash from the end of the URL. Click on test API credentials again and this time you should see a success message. Click on save. Okay, that updates our automatic provisioning between AWS and Okta. Now let's see how we can assign this AWS user group to AWS IAM Identity Center application. Click on Assignments, click on Assign, Assign to Groups. Here next to your user group, click on Assign, scroll down and click on Save and go back. And then Done. Now let's push this group to AWS, so click on the tab Push Groups and click on Push Groups here, find groups by name, type in AWS users to find your group, select it and then click Save. You will see the status pushing and once the group has been pushed, the status changes to active. Also go back to the provisioning tab and make sure that the create user permission is enabled on the Okta side. If not, click on edit and enable user creation and updation access and then click on save. Now let's go back to our AWS console and click on Groups. Here you should see your AWS users group and you can see this was created by Skim protocol. Click on Users and you should be able to see your test user also synced in. Now let's see how we can assign these users and groups 
access to your Amazon Q applications. For that, I will go into Amazon Q Business Service. If you click on Create Application, you will notice that every new application automatically integrates with IAM Identity Center and pulls in your identities for granting access. For the purposes of this demo, I have already set up an application, so I will click on this pre-created application. Scroll down. Uh, you will see a section here for groups and users. I will click on Manage Access and Subscriptions. Add groups and users. And here we will search for our user group. Select it and assign. As you can see, currently this user group does not have any subscription. So we will select this and click on change subscription and update the subscription tier. In the drop down here, you will see two options, Business Lite and Pro. I will select Business Pro. We have another video in our series which goes into depth explaining what these different tiers mean. Now let's go and launch this application with the new user login and see if the access was successful. So I'm going to click on Web Experience Settings and grab the URL for my application and paste the URL in a new Chrome window. Provide my user credentials. And I've successfully logged into my Amazon Q application. And that's it. In this video, we have discussed how you can easily manage access for your Amazon Q business applications using IAM Identity Center. You can also leverage IAM Identity Center for managing access to Amazon Q QuickSight and Amazon Q Developer. If you would like to follow these integration steps through our documentation, then you can grab the link in the description as well. And that's all for today. Do visit us on aws.amazon.com/q for more information.